Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a second vlog today. I'm on a roll here. So the reason I'm doing this, I just saw a very nice Indian patient of mine that I did a lip reduction on, and she brought up a few things, and my, uh, my assistant, Linda, said, oh, God, you, you need bigger lips, or boy, I would love to have those lips. And, you know, she just had a lip reduction. And the reason is the thinking, how as certain types of ethnicities perceive their own lips. And I thought this was interesting, too, because I had a Thai woman come in here a couple days ago. And she sat down with me and said, um, I want lip enhanced. I want them bigger. And I looked at her and I said, you know, you've got to be careful. They may look like ethnic lips or e ethnic looking. So I was actually t dissuading her, taking her, talking to her, not putting uh, uh, more volume into her lips. Now, what, how do I make my distinction? Well, this is arbitrary. This is not from a textbook. This is something that I see and I've thought about in my perception of beauty. So you're not going to read about this, I don't think. But what I see is when the, the skin color is brown, and I don't mean dark brown like dark African American. I'm talking about any shade of brown from the uh, the Malay Peninsula, uh, Filipino, um, any subset, even if you're on you know, Thailand, if you're more Chinese looking, because remember, there are a lot of Chinese that are in Philippines and Filipinos that are in China. So it's, it's not just where you live, but it's the type of skin color you have. When it has a little bit of a chocolate color to it, a little bit of a brown tint to it, and I'm talking about more sort of that Polynesian look, that whole area, to all the way to African Americans and, and other colors, I really try to talk you out of doing uh, have, having your lips enhanced because you may not like it. I may even try to move you toward temporary products before I do permanent products for you. Um, so the other thing is just to briefly introduce the idea is not only when I don't augment, but when do I reduce. Interestingly enough, about 50% of my patients that I reduce are done because of just terrible looking lips, okay? I'm talking about big ducks up here where it's just sticking out like this, and or lumpy messes from bad silicone or bad uh, fillers or bad solid implants. I just saw a lady about five minutes ago that I gotta get those implants out because they're put white, right in the white roll and everything I said about it in my solid lip implant video was exactly what she had. She was handed this soft little nice implant, the thing shrunk in her lip and has got, made this look even more like a duck. Um, another doctor decided to put more wrestling up here and it even worse. So it just, just, there's no common sense when you approach a patient. Um, but anyways, that's just a quick overview of that. But about 50% of my lip reductions are done because of just horrible, nasty, overdone lips that look bad, and usually the upper lip. For ethnic lips that occupy another 50%, if you can believe out of that 50%, about 40% fly in for my services. And same with my lip reductions uh, for bad lips. A lot of these people come from out of town because with the internet exposure I have, there's so many people that have had such bad work that they come in and they really have not found anyone else to help repair the situation for them. But the other 50% uh, uh, is ethnic lips. And interestingly enough, it's divided almost 50-50 between the upper and lower. Sometimes it's upper, sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's both. That's just based on judgment and ethnicity and, and a discussion, but oftentimes more it's the bottom lip. So what's interesting is that for ethnic lip reductions, it's a little bit more common to be the lower lip. And for the uh, bad lip jobs done in more Caucasians, for example, or even any race, it's more the upper lip that I've got to reduce. So that's just sort of an interesting uh, idea. So hopefully that, uh, that idea in summary when I see people that have a little bit of a brownish tint to their uh, the skin color, whether it's Asian, whether uh, Hispanics, not so much. More unless the Hispanics have more of the uh, um, uh, uh, Indian native Incan look, then I'm more careful. But if they're just darker skin Hispanics, I'm actually okay to augment. So it's not that may be an exception to the rule. But generally, Polynesian. Uh, and darker skin uh, Asians um, all the way to African Americans. I'm very conservative when I'm thinking about uh, lip augmentation. And then I just reviewed a few instances when I do lip reductions. Thank you.